Hey Capricorns, I'm back out with another video. So let's get into it. We're going to pull from the Romance Angels. We're going to pop it off with some love messages. Give me a message for the Capricorn, please. Okay, all right. You got love yourself first. And we got wedding here at the bottom of the deck. Okay. We got separation. And attraction here and unrequited love, too. Okay. Tell me more. Give me a message. All right. Yeah, I got two more. All right. So, we got stay optimistic about your love life and healing family issues. Okay. So, it looks like you guys are going through some type of separation or separation could be, uh, could be coming. Okay. Spirit wants you to put yourself first and stay optimistic. Because for some, there is a separation that's coming. But after, I feel like either during this separation or right after this separation, there is a healing process that's going on here. All right. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let me move it right here. Just in case I need to go back to it. All right, so, yeah, let's go ahead in with these. This could be someone that you are dealing with, or this could be your energy. And I'm going to read it as if it's your person's energy. So, tell me Capricorn's person's intentions towards Capricorn. What is this person's intentions towards Capricorn? Someone could be trying to heal after a separation. I'm seeing that as well too. If the if the roles are vice versa, with the cards that I pulled first, then your person is trying to heal after some type of separation. After being separated from you, they're deciding to put themselves first. All right, we got a girl with snake. This person could be an empath. Um, this person could be trying to set up boundaries. They're mirroring you. This person is marrying you. So marrying each other, self-image, relationship reflects all, uh, our wounds and introspection. Okay, yeah, because there definitely is a breakup or a separation of some type. They're trying to stop some type of pattern. They may be giving you the silent treatment and they may have abandoned the relationship. Okay, so let's see. What else? Oh, 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 okay. Wedding rings jumped out. This could have been somebody that you're married to. Now, it's just so much cars that want to jump at one time. Okay. <laughs> All right. What is this person intention towards Capricorn? Okay. Ascending. Transcending obstacles. Learning expansion new phase okay preparing for a union okay so this person here they're going through an ascension okay maybe they've learned some type of lesson we got stability security uh growth endurance flexibility so now they're trying to become more stable okay yeah dragonfly be lighthearted, finding out things coming to the light, adapt, changing, and healing. Yeah, I'm getting that because we got this over here too. So whoever you were dealing with, they're trying to, they're going through some type of healing phase. They may um, be giving you the silent treatment. You may not have heard from this person in a while. But this person could definitely be like an empath or narcissistic. And they may be an enabler. Um, so they're setting up, maybe they've learned that about themselves. Um, and this person is over here setting boundaries. Like this person has went through something here during a separation period from you, from you guys. And it's like, they're deciding to put themselves first. Now, like I said, this could be vice versa, but when I do these readings, I ask for their energy. So 
All right, let's see. about this person. What is this person's energy towards that person? Tell me what else is going on between Capricorn and this individual. All right, so yeah, I definitely see a break period here with the Four of Swords, the Moon. There could be something hidden, or you guys are dealing with the Cancer or Pisces. Yeah, somebody's being manipulative. Somebody feels like somebody's being manipulative with the Seven of Swords and the King of Cups. So this person could feel like you're being sneaky. Like, I'm just getting like a sneaky energy, and their guard is just up. This person is really, really guarded. And I do see like a separation period or a break period between you and this person. All right. So this person could feel like a flat out fool. We got the fool, the first card that jumped out. And the six of cups. The seven of wands. The nine of swords. The eight of pentacles. The high priestess. World. The knight of wands. The page of swords. And the Queen of Cups. All right, give me a second, guys. There's a lot of a lot of confirmation with these beeps going off. Okay. Again, like what is going on? All right. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so this person could literally feel like a fool. They feel like they took some type of leap of faith, um, trusting this energy. But I definitely see they have closed this chapter. Okay, we got the world card here. They have closed this chapter because this is their energy. Like, they went through something that was trauma. It's like they feel traumatized. They feel, they feel traumatized. Like, what's going on? Why is the Seven of Wands here? The strength card. Okay, so they finally got the courage to stand up for themselves. They're saying, look, something isn't fair. It wasn't just. It wasn't balanced. And they stood up for themselves. Now we got the fool and the knight of cups. Okay, so there was an offer. Looks like there was an offer on the table in the past. Why is the Six of Cups here? The moon, yeah. There was an offer on the table. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Five of Swords. But I don't think that the offer was any good. Now, with the Five of Swords, there could have definitely been, like, some jealousy, some, this, some petty little ways, um, somebody just wanting to win, type of energy okay now this could be a queen of wands could be involved leo sagittarius aries but i'm getting that there was like um some disagreements here for sure in the past now this has caused this person to overthink struggle a little bit here like overthinking and having anxiety always in their head the page of wands okay Why is the page of wands here? The star card. Definitely this person is healing. Okay, this person is healing. Going through some type of awakening, some type of healing. For sure, for sure. Okay. They're getting their thoughts together. They're becoming more strong-minded. They're more of accepting of the truth about this relationship between you and them. Okay. I definitely do see that everything was perfect before, but I do see a tower moment definitely did hit and everything that they thought this was was shattered. Okay. So this is how they were left feeling the three of swords and the hermit so they were really feeling like alone or wanting to take time to themselves they were really really hurt now i do see them trying to heal from this okay now the eight of pentacles here in the past in the knight of pentacles i see some effort was being put in 
somebody was putting in some effort here but some okay so it looks like somebody was trying to slow down but somebody was trying to move fast somebody was trying to rush I mean, the other person may have been trying to slow down Some of y'all could be dealing with a uh, Libra. Okay, so I'm getting like they could be feeling. They I feel like they want to reach out to you, but they have this feeling of like if I if I reach out, I know they gonna, you know, don't feel like they won, or they're gonna feel like it's cool. For them, you know, like everything's back cool. So they're just like waiting. They're put they're putting this on hold. They're not even trying to reach out. Because they have decided to close the chapter with the world here. Yeah. The tower. This person is like, there's a big awakening here. They feel like they should have waited. They feel like they should have waited things out. They should have they feel like they should have resolved whatever issues that they had with you. Um, instead of jump ahead first, because that full card is definitely jump ahead first. Definitely. Now you could be over here giving this Knight of Wands energy. You know, I feel like some of y'all was just kind of like having fun. Um, you feel like you should have waited, but I feel like you was just kind of like going along with things. Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, you feel like you should have waited out to see if the love was still there with the Lover's card here and the Sun card here. Yeah, I'm getting three of wands. You just feel like you should have waited. But this person is spying on you with this Page of Swords. They are spying on you. They're looking to see if you have other options. They're looking to see if you made the right decision, if you made another choice. Um, this could definitely be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio with this Queen of Cups as your outcome. Now, tell me more about this Queen of Cups. But this person really cares about you, really loves you. And this person does want to communicate with you. However, this is their energy. Four of Cups, Three of Swords, Five of Wands. There's still a lot of unresolved issues here, okay? <laughs> There's still a lot of unresolved issues here. Like, this person is... I'm getting, like, traumatized. Like, they felt traumatized. Yep, but like I said, this person, they aren't... They, they want to communicate with you, but I don't think they're going to do it first. You got the Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. I don't think that you're in communication with this person. And I don't think if if it's going to take a while for them to reach out to you. If you're waiting for them to communicate with you. This person wants you to think about it. This person is kind of like giving you time to think about it. They're spending time with themselves for sure, for sure. They are focusing on themselves, pampering themselves, working on their appearance. Like, this person is taking their time. They found out the truth of the matter. The truth was revealed. Um, but I'm just getting like, yeah, this person is letting time pass by. And I definitely do see two of pentacles, two of swords. Somebody here was definitely juggling. And it just caused it to be a fork in the road. Okay, so... I don't see this person. I see them watching you, but not saying anything. Like, just keeping an eye on you. <laughs> then it's like keeping an eye on you. Let's see what they want to say. Since they want to hide. <laughs> what does this person want to say to Capricorn? I want to say the Ooh, okay. I feel you leaving me behind. 
They're actually waiting for a sign from you. They're waiting for some type of sign from you, but they definitely do feel you leaving them behind. Like, they feel like you are venturing off, going off and doing new things, possibly seeing new people, having different offers and options. And they just feel like you're leaving them behind. They don't want to be the first ones to reach out. So, they're just waiting for a sign from you. All right? So, that's the message that I got for the Capricorn. If this message resonates, be sure to hit the thumbs up, share with your family and your friends, and comment below. All right? Until next time.